Hi guys, welcome back to the Hensley Homestead. And today we're gonna to be talking about uh, cloth diapering. So I have just recently gotten into cloth diapering. I did it a little bit with my firstborn and didn't really know brands and inserts and all those things that the seasoned cloth diaper mom <laughs> knows to do and knows what to do with. So that's why I'm here today to give some insight, some very basic cloth diapering tips, tricks, whatever. And joining me today is little Ziki. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> you say hi. Say hi, guys. Oh, I'm checking you all out. Okay. So, first and foremost, the brand I love is Kinder Cloth Diaper Co. I think is what it is. We've got a great Instagram. Uh, I think they have a YouTube. If they do have a YouTube, I'll link them down below. Um, but if you'll get on their website, Kinder Cloth Diaper Company, they have some really awesome, really affordable cloth diapers. Um, their cloth diapers did go up in price just a little bit this just recently, um, like a dollar, I think. But I got this cover. I'm going to show you all a couple of different designs and um, makes the diapers that they make. So this is the cover. Um, they fit anywhere from newborn to like 60 pounds, so to potty training. And this has the double leg, um, I don't know what you would call that, but it's got a little double elastic here to hold your insert or to hold your baby's potty. And then in here, you can lift this flap up and you, they've actually got a spot where you can pin in the insert. So on every one of their inserts, this is like the medium absorbency, uh, they have little snaps. So I'll show you, come on. Um, so you can actually snap this to another insert this is the light absorbency so I could snap this onto the front or back of this medium absorbency and then we have this is four layers of bamboo or hemp and cotton I think and then this is bamboo and cotton um, so this is four layers and this is four layers I think I think this could be two layers um, Anyways, and then you would just snap that on the inside of your diaper, fold that little flap over. So again, the snap is right here. Then you've got your diaper, and you can always put like an extra booster or whatever. And actually what I love, I have been using with Ezekiel here lately is this very, it's like the heaviest absorbency that they have. I wanna say it's six layers of hemp and cotton and then like two layers of bamboo in the middle, I think. Yeah, that's for your butt, huh? Um, this is the one I've been using for him just because it's wider and it's got more absorbency and he's he's a heavy wetter, especially in the knot. So, now that you've got your diaper cover and your inserts in here, um, to store, I would just fold the top flaps over and fold the bottom up and then snap and snap and then you've got a diaper pretty much ready to go. And then as far as sizing, the smallest sizing would be you take this bottom um, snap. There's one, two, three, three rows of snaps on this one. You take it all the way up. And this would be like a newborn setting. Um, and you do change it, you know, as often as your baby would, you know, change diaper sizes or whatever. It's very, um, I want to say sustainable, but I don't know if that's the right word. It, it is very sustainable, but it is very versatile. There we go. And then you bring this all the way over to these two or on either side of this middle button there. Um, Ezekiel is in a size four-ish regular diaper right now. Like I'm doing, um, whenever, I don't have enough of these yet, 
to fully cloth diapers. Every once in a while when we go out, I will use a disposable. Um, so he is in a size uh, four in disposables. And right now I use this top button here that snaps up. So we're still snapping up some and we won't fully let that out until he is walking. Um, and then he comes out to this second button. So this is his sizing in cloth diapers. You can see I've still got two rows on that bottom and then a row of buttons on each side. And it really does hold, you know, the potty for a while. Um, now another option that you can do is the pocket diaper and I got a couple of designs um, here. I did just put an order in for a couple more. Um, but this is one of the designs. I really don't know if they're going to come back with this design, but it is by far like one of my favorites. I don't know if it'll focus. I think it did. It's a little... Y'all right? Um, but <laughs> it's cows, chickens. Uh, I think there's a pig on there. And this is their pocket diaper. So what you'll do with this one is you take, again, the button. I don't know if you'll see it. Stuff the diaper. Pin it at the top. Let the insert fly. And then I just kind of pull on the sides of my insert so I know that they're good and stationary and where they're going to be. And then to get it ready, I'll fold the flaps, fold over, and pin it. And then it is ready to be put in my um, basket over there. So that is a ready diaper. And then, yeah. So a couple more designs that I have and I wanted to go ahead and show you was the um, toddler training diaper pull up. I don't know. Um, so this is a stay wet diaper. So they will feel when it is wet. This is more for potty training and things like that. Um, maybe if your baby's trying not to wet the bed at night, you could use this. My daughter does not fit in this. Um, she wears a 5T and she's three. So my babies just grow pretty fast, I think. Um, but it is a minky soft material on the inside. We will be using this with Bo when he potty trains, right? And maybe Zeke if he doesn't get too big. Um, it does have a pocket. You can put extra absorbency in there. And there is already some, I think it's, it's either two or four layers of absorbency um, already there. You can see the outline kind of. But yeah, that's the train dropper and it's easy to snap on and off on the sides for your toddler. And then a couple more designs that I really love would be this tie-dye. Yeah, you like this one, don't you? And it's got a green inside. Oh, you like it. You like that one? And you getting fussy on me? Yes. And then the trees, I think it's called timber. And it's got like a mossy inside. I'm sorry. Sorry you're fussy. Um, another thing I wanted to go over in this video, which it was, I had no idea about, <laughs> is when you wash your cloth diapers. So when we first started cloth diapering, we had a lot of yeast problems because I was not washing the diapers correctly, which my kids usually have a little bit of yeast problems themselves. But um, washing the diapers is a little tricky if you don't know what you're doing. So what I like to do now, my wash cycle now, is I do a speed wash with nothing in my machine. No soap, no nothing, just the diapers. And I take the insert off. If there's poop on the diaper, I spray that out in my utility sink, um, which we do all our, uh, you know, not so edible things. <laughs> and uh, that's gross, but, um, in my laundry room sink, I will like spray out his diaper to go right down the drain. Breast milk is very soluble. 
So, and that's all he's getting. He's not getting any solids right now. So, we spray it out in the sink, and when he starts eating solids, we'll start doing it in the potty, right? Yeah. And, um, I lost my train of thought, guys. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, the wash cycle. So, I'll do the speed wash, hot or warm, with just the diapers in it that have had the inserts taken out and the inserts in there, diapers in there. That's it. <coughs> Speed wash takes about 35 minutes on warm. And then I will throw my detergent in and I'll show you what detergent I use because you have to look for certain detergents with this. So this is what I use. This is the Molly Suds Baby Laundry Powder. Removes formula, poop, and spit up stains. Um, it has no dyes, no formaldehydes, no petrochemicals, no phosphates, or 1,4 dioxane, no optical brighteners, and no non, non, nonophenol exfoliates. So I don't even know what that one is. It is hypoallergenic, gentle on newborn skin, and trusted by moms. I have used this company since um, Bo was born. I really love their stuff. I use their dishwashing liquid. Babe. Um, but yeah, the only ingredients are sodium carbonate sourced from the Green River Basin in Wyoming, sodium bicarbonate, magnesium sulfate, marisol, unrefined sea, well, blah, 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 unrefined sea salt. I'm talking about the cross diapers. Nice. Protease, mananase, and lipase. So obviously I don't know what some of these are, but I know that they don't have any of these things on the front. So that is what my big worry is. Um, and Molly says we'll come up on a lot of non-toxic things. So this in a normal cotton load, after you do your speed wash, which is your initial rinse. And then again, the cotton with or cotton regular load with the Molly suds. And then you will do a, um, no, and then that's it. So you can take them out and I will put mine in an air dry cycle in my dryer and then hang them up. Uh, it just helps speed up the process just a little bit. But if you don't wanna do that, just go ahead and hang them up to dry because these will shrink if you put them in the dryer on a regular load. Another thing is if you are having troubles with your diapers smelling anything like, a, people call it like a barnyard smell uh, manure, ammonia, um, yeasty, like, um, I would say like bread, but to me it actually smells more like yogurt, then I would recommend you use an oxygen whitener. Lots of people say to use bleach or vinegar, but I didn't like either of those options. Options, So I use the Molly Suds oxygen whitener, chlorine free and color safe. So the ingredients in this is sodium precarbonate, sodium carbonate, citric acid, and organic lemon essential oil. I have no problem with essential oils. Some people do, so do your own research, but um, I really do like Molly Suds, and I've not had any problems with it. My kids are all very sensitive. My son gets really bad rashes. My daughter gets really bad rashes. Ezekiel, I assume, would get really bad rashes if we were using a toxic detergent or anything like that. But both of those are really great options. Now with that, you do a soak cycle with this. So I would do an, a, a rinse cycle, the speed wash on hot or warm, and then do this or like a half a scoop of this with your diapers unless you have like a large load of diapers, which I do not recommend ever doing. Um, a half a scoop of this on a soak cycle or you can put it like in a five gallon bucket I guess and let it soak for a little while to strip the diapers and then you will rinse again and wash it that's what I do um, if you're using too much of the detergents on a, like laundry powder or whatever then it will start to stink because your diapers are holding on to that powder and not getting fully rinsed out. So do watch out for that. Um, your diapers should not smell like anything when they come out of the wash. They should just smell clean, fresh, 
airy, whatever you want to say. Um, another thing I wanted to speak about with cloth diapering is diaper cream. So do not, I do not recommend using any kind of zinc um, diaper creams or petroleum based diaper creams on your cloth diapers. My go-to diaper brush cream is coconut oil or castor oil. And as long as they're not, <laughs> as long as they're not like, I don't know how to explain it. They shouldn't ever really be chapped that bad using cloth diapers unless they have a yeast infection. And coconut oil has always fixed a yeast rash on the bottom for me. Uh, my son had a really bad yeast problems. Like my first son, Ezekiel, had really bad yeast problems. And when I started using the coconut oil or castor oil, it started working really well because it's an antifungal and an antibacterial. Um, as is honey, but if you use honey on a yeast diaper rash and the honey has been expired, honey makes its own yeast. So I do not recommend using honey on a yeast um, on a yeast rash unless you know it is in date and it has to be raw honey. So just take that with a grain of salt. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about cloth diapering, um, I would say we probably use. 10 a day that's what anywhere from like 8 to 10 is what we would use I try to change him pretty regularly um, just so he doesn't blow off the side or anything like that but we haven't really had many issues with that as long as our sizing is good the cloth diapers hold up really really well but yeah I was just gonna come on here and that's our video for the week um, they are having they just had a launch um, of new colors and things like that so if you are interested in cloth diapering Get on Kinder Cloth Diaper. They have a lot of really cute patterns. And I'll try to remember, whenever I get mine in, I'll try to do a vlog and show you all some of the new patterns that I got. So again, this is the Timber pattern. I want to say they still had this in stock. Um, Tie-dye, and they have a lot of really cute tie-dye, birthday cake patterns, and all kinds of stuff. But, that is it for today. Me and Zeke are going to get off here. Um, we've had a good time with you all. So, like, comment, subscribe, and God bless you guys. Say bye, Zeke. Say bye. Oh.